What are the cons of not having kids? Well, I'm in my 60s, and I don't have kids. The downside is now I don't have any family, I'm the last one left. I work in TV, and the hours are notoriously brutal, especially when you're starting out. For years, a friend of mine kept a pic of his wife and two kids on his desk. So when producers would roll in with notes at 6 p.m. to get him to work late, he would just point at the pic. Plays, recitals, the flu, no babysitter, whatever. Found out years later, it was photoshopped. He's married now, with kids. No one to avenge your death. Lack of cheap unreliable labor. I'm having medical emergencies in my 40s and still need my 70-year-old parents to bring and take me to appointments. You have fewer excuses to use to call off of work. Holidays are kinda depressing. I went to watch my nephews open gifts on Christmas morning, then spent the rest of day changing exhaust manifold gaskets, oil change, and a tune-up on my truck just because I had nothing going on. I think it's best to frame having kids as going on an epic life-changing adventure. There will be glory and wonder and there will be horrors. The highs will take you higher than you ever thought possible, but man are those lows low. So con, you'll miss out on this epic adventure. But there are other paths to other adventures, ones with their own excitement and peril. Or maybe you're more of the stay in the shire type. That's fine too. I have no heirs for my fortune. I have to count on a gold digger wanting to inherit. When I want to impress my wife by doing the dishes, I can't just secretly get the kids to do it for me. I would like to think that raising my own children I would be able to teach them kindness and acceptance to help rid the world of the stupidity that we can't get over. I likely won't have that chance at least on my own children but planning to volunteer to maybe help others' children. You always get this so when are you having kids question. At the age now where my friends from high school are shipping their kids off to college and becoming late 30s empty nesters. Basically regaining all of the perceived benefits of us childless folk, but with a whole adult offspring out in the world. That part seems pretty cool, but still no regrets on my end. Loneliness. As you age and your friends have kids themselves, you will increasingly find that you have no one but your S.O. to do things with. It's especially bad in retirement as long-term friends and family start to die off. You could easily find yourself with absolutely no one to talk to. Having to listen to all the parents tell you what a joy raising a family is. Music